Let's visit Mysuru in this open roof hop on hop off bus. So this is part 2 of Mysuru Darshan in the Ambari bus. So let's have a glimpse of what all we visited in this Ambari bus in our episode 1. So the bus starts from KSTDC office, Karnataka State Tourism Development office. We cross the Metropole Hotel. So we cross the Maharani College for Women, DC office. Next tourist attraction, Crawford Hall. Now we have come to Kautilya Circle. Manasa Gangotri, yeah. University of Mysore. Next is the Oriental Research Institute. Now we are going to Krishnaraj Boulevard Road. Now we are passing through Maharaja College. Passing through Ramaswamy Circle. Now we are at Sanskrit Patshala of Mysore City Corporation. There is Mysore City bus stand just beside it. Krishna Rajendra Circle. Next is the Chamrajendra Circle. Now we are seeing Big Clock Tower or also known as Silver Jubilee Clock Tower. Now we are seeing the famous Mysore Palace also known as the Amba Vilas Palace. We are at the Northern Gate. Now let's continue our journey. Now we reached Gandhi Square. During freedom fight, Gandhiji came to meet the freedom fighters of Mysore. Mahatma Gandhi gave a motivational speech here and encouraged the freedom fighters. In the memory of Mahatma Gandhi's visit, the circle has been named as Gandhi Square. Passing through, opposite the Ambavilasa Palace is the building which is used as the administrative building for public offices. Now we have come to the southern gate of Ambavilas Palace. Now we are passing in front of the Gun House building, which is more than 100 years old heritage building. During the Maharaja's time, this place was used for storing the weapons and ammunition. It was also used as security offices. So this, these are the elephants which are practicing for the Shara uh, Utsav, a very famous Utsav in uh, Mysuru. So we can see and the horses and the elephants, they will be trained here. All being prepared for the Dashara Utsav. Oh, this is Chamundi Temple. Chamundi uh, Temple, there we can see the mountains and I've, I will make one more vlog for that. And you can see, click my videos and you can get the Chamundi vlog as well. Next tourist attraction. Now we have arrived at Amba Vilas Palace, Jay Marthanda Gate. Under the Mysore kings, this entrance was only used for kings, elephants, horses, cattle, etc. This gate was opened only to welcome them. Till date, the same tradition is being followed. During Jumbo Savari, when the elephants are brought inside the Fort Palace area, only then Jai Marthanda Gate is opened. Next tourist attraction, Hardin Circle or Jai Chamarajinda Circle. Now we have reached the Harding Circle, also known as Jai Chamarajinda Circle. Mysore is famous for its circles. The British Viceroy Charles Harding visited Mysore in 1913. In the memory of his visit to Mysore, this circle was named after him. The circle connects six roads, hence this gate is also called as Aru Gate, which means in Kannada six gates. Recently, this Harding circle was renamed based on the last king, Jai Cham Raja Indra Wadiyar. In 2016, Government of Karnataka got a 9 feet statue made of marble installed in the circle. This statue was made by Mysore sculptor Arjun Yogi Raj. 
the total cost of this statue and its installation was rupees 5 crores now we are going to kuppanna park there is a glass house within the park during the shara festival flower show is held at kuppanna park there is also a children's traffic park which is under mysore city traffic police inside the park there are small parks and buildings along with traffic lights traffic signals and many more this is made in order to create awareness about traffic and its rule among children right next to the zoo there is a fish theme park which is getting ready as a part of it we can see a big mural of fish now we have come near mysore zoo or shri chamrajendra zoological gardens the magnificent structure that we see near the zoo is lokaranjan mahal this was mysore maharaja's summer palace connected to this palace the mysore zoo was started the 10th chamrajendra wadiyar started the zoo in 1892 near to the maharaja's summer palace he allocated 10 acres of land for the zoo then the zoo was called the palace zoo a german landscaper and horticulturist g h krumbegel developed the zoo in 1902 This zoo was opened for the commoners and a lot of development was done. In 1972 the Mysore Zoo was taken under the Forest Department of Karnataka. In 1997 the Forest Department enlarged the zoo and got various varieties of birds and animals across the country. The present total area of the zoo is approximately 157 acres. More than 1400 variety of animals and birds are there in the zoo, and this is one of the oldest zoo in India. Here we can also adopt our favorite animals and birds. Around the world, eminent people are helping conserve the various animals and birds by adopting them. On the right hand side we can see the Mysore race course. This was started in 1891 by Maharaja Jay Chamrajendra Wadiyar. This is spread across 157 acres. So we can see the Chamundi hills there and uh, the Chamundi temple is also there on top of the hill. I have made another vlog for that and I'll uh, add the link in the description you can check it next tourist attraction karanji lake now we cross the karanji lake for drinking purposes and for irrigation mysore rulers got many lakes and ponds constructed among them a uh, few are still intact and karanji lake is one of them this is located in the foothills of chamundi hills and spread across 90 acres next tourist attraction After Chamundi Hill Circle we are crossing the snow city it is just very beautiful and amazing Next tourist attraction Chamundi River Stable A healthy India is fit India Keeping this in mind that health and sports is important for complete mind and body development this stadium is built the city of mysore has chamundi vihar stadium it has the latest gymnasium and latest sporting equipments next tourist attraction osto training center In 1914 on the banks of Karanchi Lake the then king Nalwadi Krishna Raja Wadiyar built a building this building was constructed as a residence of his sister princess Krishna Raja Ammani Karanchi Bhavana was built in Indo-Saracenic style at present it is a 
postal training center. Inside this, there is a museum which has information regarding the postal department, showcased through things and photographs. One can visit it as it is a public museum. Next tourist attraction, Banni Mantapa. Now we have come towards Banni Mantapa. Banni Mantapa is located in the northern side of Mysore. This place is related to Mysore Dasara celebrations. So we could not go to St. Philomena's church as uh, some construction or some road work was going on. Uh, the church has been named after the 3rd century Greek Saint Philomena and this is one of the tallest churches in, in Asian continent. Originally in the place of church in 1814, Mubadi Krishnaraja Wadiyar had got a wooden church constructed for the British officials of Mysore and Srirangapatna. In 1933, Maharaja Nalwadi Krishnaraja Wadiyar did the foundation laying ceremony for the present church. There is also a very beautiful and well maintained railway museum. Now we return to the KSTDC Mayura Hotel. Thank you for watching.